Hey everyone, Mori Moe here. Today I'm going to read The Mandalorian and the Child by Jeffrey Brown. If, you've, if you're used to coming to this channel, you know I usually do Star Wars theories and speculation. But today I want to do something I haven't done in a little while, which is where I read a Star Wars children's book. It's fun to be able to do this again. And we're getting near the holidays, so I thought this would be a fun little treat for this month. Okay, so let's get started. Now, if last time I read Ray and Palace by Jeffrey Brown, but he also does a series where Darth Vader takes care of Luke and Leia as children. It's, they're all very cute. Now, this book came out a few days ago, and I'll put a link at the bottom to where you can get it. All right, so here's the first page. It's just this nice little design of uh, patches of Grogu and Din Djarin. Okay. Din Djarin saying... Why? Because this is the way. Obviously, Grogu's a very willful child. And there's uh, Den being picked up by Grogu. Okay. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, Mandalorian bounty hunter Din Djarin has traveled throughout the Outer Rim, battling Imperials and catching nefarious criminals. Now he must face his toughest challenge yet, taking care of the child. Don't wipe your nose on your sleeve. Sniff. Okay, looks like uh, Din and Grogu are having a play date with some other kids. I'm Din Djarin, and this is uh, the kid. Of course, this is a joke back to me. We didn't know what Grogu's name was. Grogu, Gief, Grief Karga, is saying, he's sacrificing himself. And Din says, yes, he will change the diaper. <laughs> Look at the IG unit. He's cool. Okay, and there's Din Djarin and Grogu in a little child seat with a helmet on the speeder. Okay, and here's a bunch of Mandalorians offering Din child parenting advice. If he's not talking yet, it's probably because... Trust me, you'll miss this time. It goes by so fast. Don't forget to... You have to be consistent, otherwise... What does he eat? Because you should. If he's... Don't worry, they all go through that phase. You need not to carry him so much if you want him to be independent. Okay, next page. Why are these controls sticky? And look at all the, the macaroons and candy gunk everywhere. Grogu looks so cute and innocent. All right. It's Den getting, getting up in the morning on Tatooine. With his son, strapped to his chest, and his coffee. Or calf, as they call it in Star Wars. Okay, we've got a multi-panel story here. Din says, no. And Grogu looks sad. What? Says Din. Grogu looks more sad. What are you doing? And then just a very sad-looking Grogu gets closer up to his face. Okay, fine, here. And he gets his little metal ball. I think that more or less actually happened in the show. Okay, a two-page spread with one of my favorite characters, Pele Moto. I don't know what to tell you, Mando. It's going to take me weeks to install this booster seat. <laughs> oh, look at the little pit droids and the Jawas in the back. That is cool. Okay, here's our favorite IG unit with a mobile over Grogu's pram. Okay, now we got the armor. What shall I forge for the foundling Grogu? I was thinking a really nice binky. Uh, what? So, Grogu. Grogu's learning his ABCs. Or Aravesh. <laughs> hey, Bo-Katan, one of my faves. It's a, this is why we never take off our helmets. Burp. Grogu, apparently just having vomited on Din. <laughs> Uh, Den's just mending Grogu's little coats. But, you know, I've actually thought about this before. Grogu's been wearing that coat, I think, for like over 50 years. I mean, it's got to be getting torn. He's got to get some new clothes at some point, not just more armor. Okay, another little four-panel story. Grogu says, don't eat that, and it's a frog. No, Grogu, you can't have those. Oh, come on, one bite of your veggies. Okay, here's the next page. I don't know what, I know you don't want to take a bath, but these are the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. That's pretty special, isn't it? Here's Grogu. He doesn't want to go in. 
All right, and this is back when we still have the razor crest. I know your legs are short, but you can't be tired of walking already. Yeah, Grogu just wants to be held. Oh, here's Ahsoka. Finger painting? Sort of. And Grogu's using his force powers to move the paints. Okay, back to the IG guy. As a droid, I have superior optical magnification and precision tweezer functioning. I will remove the splinter. Oh. Okay, and this is another kind of double page spread with some panels. We see the razor crest. Den is saying to that one uh, blue guy, I forgot what his name was. I don't know where it is, Mando, I swear. He's asking the Jawas, and Pershing was not expecting him to be in this book. Please, no, I had nothing to do with that. And the armorer says, you must find a Jedi. Perhaps then you will find what you seek. Um, it's hard to see, but that's cool. Saying, it is not here I have spoken. Ahsoka saying, I can't tell you. And then finally, you can't really remember where you left your ball? So they were just trying to find that little metal ball of his. Okay, there's Grief Karga again. Dan says, oh, you got a bad boo-boo, didn't you? Yes, you did. I know it's okay. Grief. Grief says, you need to start spending more time around adults, Mando. Okay, back to Den and Armor. Come on, Grogu, give it back to me, please. Can I have it back? And Armor says, persistence without insight will lead to the same outcome. Okay, let's get this page turned here. Aww. He's reading, like, the three little Gamorreans. And then the big bad Lothwolf got in his ATST and went to the next Gamorrean's house, and he said... Probably said, I'm going to blow your house down. Okay. So, it was another four-panel story. Tatooine has two suns, so you need to put on sunscreen before we go outside. And this sun hat, and these extra robes. Get in here for some shade. And now he's just pretty much all covered up. <laughs> they do age quickly on Tatooine. Yeah, they've said that before. Obi-Wan Kenobi got old so fast. Okay. Grogu, the carbon freezing chamber is not a toy. I see he's frozen all his little frogs for a later snack. <gasps> oh, Borgs! They're feeding the Borgs. They're like little pigeons. Look at that. That's one of my favorites. You know, I'm a sucker for Porgs. All right. Okay, it's Den saying, it's a long trip. You sure you don't need to use the bathroom before we go? And then when they get into the little ship, let me guess, you need to go to the bathroom now. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, you know what? I yeah, I've ever since they got rid of the razor crest that blew up, I've I've just been thinking about that. Whenever Grogu and Dan got this new ship, like, what are they gonna do for bathroom breaks? You know. Okay, uh, Dan and Grogu having a father son moment fishing, and Grogu is eating all the bait. He likes eating little squiggly wormy things. Okay. This, that was us and Navarro riding Blurgs. Oh, and here we are last summer. We visit Tatooine and this. So he's showing his former uh, friends, Migs and them, uh, pictures of their trips. Hey, Boba Fett! Yay! Okay. Uh, <laughs> roasting a little hot dog over a, over a pit. Oh, they're going to have hot dogs. Okay, let's see. Next page. Oh, there's Moff Gideon. But we don't throw tantrums on Imperial starships. And Grogu, it looks like he's beat up some stormtroopers. All right. <laughs> Percussion time. Clang, bang, clang. It's a cute one. Oh, I love this one. Dennis saying, I said I'd think about letting you get a pet. Oh, Grogu wants the Rancor. That Rancor is really cute. I love that illustration. This is actually one of my favorites in here. Okay. Oh, Mando, I've got a job for you. We're on a pretty tight nap schedule. Where's the puck? No puck. I just need to move some boxes and wonder if the kid can do his hand-waving thing. <laughs> okay, and then next panel is another little story. Dan says, wait, no. Whatever you want, I'll give you. Just don't give him any more sugar or I'll never get him to bed. And uh, the little, little guy is holding like a lollipop. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this back up. Oh, there we go. Cobb Vance. Grogu's being really quiet. Yeah, it's nice to have a break. And Cobb says, so quiet. And then Cobb lays back, and Dan thinks, Grogu, what are you doing? Okay. And this is just uh, 
den, walking Grogu in his pram. Oh, okay, I see. He's got the little coffee cups on the back of it. Oh, cool. Happy birthday, Grogu having a birthday party, and Den's about to cut it with the dark saber. All right, here we go. He's such a good sleeper. What's your secret? Den says he's always like this after he moves stuff around with his mind. <laughs> All right. Oh, now he's sleeping. Oh, are you having a bad dream? And he, uh, he's whimpering there. I wonder what he's dreaming about. And it's this frog going after him there. Okay, and uh, Grogu's little pram is just kind of full of uh, stuffed animals. Look there, you see a little porg and a little lost cat and an Ewok. It's really cute. And then Armour says, Have you removed your helmet in the presence of others? Never. Has anyone ever removed your helmet for you? Never. Not even for Peekaboo? And he says, uh... Okay. And the next one... Oh, okay, I see what he's doing. Uh, Din is using his little, that little laser thing to kind of etch a line on the wall showing how Grogu has grown. Which, I, I don't know that Grogu ever grows on this show. All right, and it says, oh, nice drawing. Is that a blurg? And it says, no, it's you. <laughs> and on the very next page, we still have a blurg. It says, the child will ride the blurg. By himself, I have spoken. All right, let's do the next page. Okay, so he's in school, and Dan says, how was his first day of school? Did he do okay? Does he have any homework? <laughs> next page, I told you the jet pack was going to be too heavy for you. Oh, he couldn't, he couldn't fly. <laughs> okay, it's another, another double page spread, and you see there's like a, a roller coaster in the back, and Grogu wants to ride. He says, you must be this tall to ride. And the Major Domo says, apologies. And there's, there's pretty much almost everybody that's been in the show. There's Carson Tiva, Migs, um, I think her name was Omera and her daughter, and El Toro. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next page. Oh, uh, mosquitoes! And he's using those little whistling birds to zap those mosquitoes. Grogu, we have to go. It's bedtime. Yep, having fun trying to channel a Jedi. Okay. Of course I run through a swamp doing flips with you on my back. I'm just tired right now. This must be after he met Luke. Speaking of which, there's Luke Skywalker on the next panel. Well, yeah, Grogu picked him, R2. He has all that shiny, cool armor. Yeah, because it's way cooler to hang out with Din than Luke. <laughs> he is pretty cool. All right, now Din is saying, Yes, Grogu, very impressive, but no more jumping on the bed. Grogu, are you listening? And the next page, there's Fennec! Yay! Okay, so Din says, I'm not crying, I got dust in my eye. Fennec says, you're wearing a helmet. And Din says, we're on Tatooine, dust gets in everything, okay? And that's it, that's the end of the book. So yeah, if you want to get this book, I've got a link down below. It's an affiliate link, so if you order, I may make a, make a commission at no cost to you. But this was a really cute book, and I had a lot of fun right reading this to you. So may the Force be with you. Have a great day!